So the first thing we've both been having in the morning for the past couple of months is a little bit of Lugol's iodine. So in the morning, I will be making eggs and rice mix milk. And then, yeah, we do the same thing every breakfast. So it's pretty simple. I guess Bryce doesn't technically make milk. He's not a lady, but you know what I'm saying. And this jar is full of our leftover bacon grease. So I just take just the tiniest little dot of bacon grease for four eggs. This is how much bacon grease I use. I like to make our eggs nice and soupy. So we can call these sloppy scrambled eggs or soupy eggs. Either way, they are delicious. I put the temperature on low to medium heat. These do take quite a bit of time to make, I suppose, but again, they come out amazing. All of my milk doesn't fit in the cup, so I have to drink a little bit down so Bryce can fill it up with more milk. You're basically a baby calf. And while the pan's heating up, I usually peel my apple in the meantime. Yes, I peel my fruit because I got trust issues and I don't know who's poking and touching my fruit in the grocery store. It is organic, but still, you never know. So I've got a little bit of grease all over the pan. Look at how beautiful this egg is. Oh my goodness. So how I make these soupy eggs is I will mix all of the whites up first, get the whites thoroughly cooked, make them kind of fluffy. And then at the very end, I will crack the yolks and mix the yolks in. We like our whites nice and cooked and our yolks nice and runny. The yolks are where all of the good nutrition's at. And so we try to not overcook the yolks and leave them nice and soupy in our scrambled eggs. All right, here comes the finale. So we add a little salt and pepper, and then I cut these in half like so, because half is for Bryce and half is for me. So this has been breakfast for us for the past few months. We are creatures of habit and literally have the same breakfast every day. So I have two scrambled eggs, two cups of milk, and a peeled apple. So I'm having the other two eggs. I'm also having a protein drink and it's basically just 20 ounces of raw milk and some protein powder. And I'm gonna have two mandarin oranges and an apple. For the next couple hours, we will do some work, either filming a video or editing, or I'll do some coaching calls. So this morning we're just doing some work together and then we will head to the gym. We're at the gym. We're gonna crush legs today. like dang lils where'd you get that workout top i love those leggings girl lily i was looking at those sweatpants at breakfast this morning Ooh, tell me more all right all right i'll tell you today's video is sponsored by halara the clothes and they agreed i can say anything i want about the clothes good or bad so we're gonna do a little try on haul which this should be fun if you guys know me you know it's gonna get it's gonna get lilified let's do it Also, I'll leave links to all products and my 15% off Halar discount code, Lily15, in the description. <laughs> First outfit. So here, we've got a top that I absolutely love. 
I wish I would have got this in more colors because it is soft, it is stretchy, it is sucking you in and then pushing you up. I love the crisscross back design. This is now my favorite top ever for working out. I'm gonna get more next time. This is the In My Feel Softy Lee Zero Airy Square Neck Backless Crisscross Cropped Cool Touch Yoga Tank Top Peacoat Color. So I guess you guys are gonna hear my secrets today, but with spandex or leggings, apparently sweatpants, I like to get the scrunch bottoms. With that scrunch, it definitely makes, makes your bubble pop. Really accentuates those buns. So leggings, amazing. But these sweatpants, oh my gosh, don't even get me started about these sweatpants. They are soft, they are stretchy, they got pockets, they got the scrunch butt, they're cute as heck. What more do you need? I am going to buy every color of these sweatpants because I love them that much. I mainly got a bunch of workout tops because I just wanted more tight fitting tops that accentuated the girlies. I don't love wearing a sports bra and a top because that's called double the laundry, okay? So rather, these tops are kind of a combo of sports bra plus top in one. This is the one that Bryce wanted. He saw it and was like, Lil's get that one. I must say the man's got some good taste because I really ended up liking the double strap, the back, the way it fits, the way it looks. I usually look like a hobo in the winter because I have big, long, baggy tops when I go work out. Now, the girl's got herself a long sleeve, tight fitting, cropped, finger hole, long sleeve shirt, and I'm stoked. Lastly, I got this jean skirt. This is more of a bodycon jean skirt, so it's stretchy, it's comfy, it's fitting, and accentuating. So, Halara doesn't just have active wear, they have all sorts of great quality, affordable clothing that are soft, breathable, stretchy, while also durable, offered in a wide range of colors and sizes. Again, you guys can find links to the products and discounts in the description. currently making lunch, ground turkey, and sweet potatoes. So today is definitely my highest carb day of the week. As of lately, because things can always change, but as of right now, my strategy has been to keep my carbs at around 75-ish, six days of the week, and then on leg day specifically, bumping up my carbs to more like 100-ish. have commented that Frank's Red Hot has canola oil in it, and maybe the other flavorings do, but with the original Frank's Red Hot, it does not have any canola. We are on the way to pick up our farmed goods order, so this is where we get our dairy, eggs, meats, organ meats, and so we make an order online and then we pick it up one time a week. You look cozy. What are you guys up to today? The meats, yogurt, and the good stuff. Our bacon stash, beef, and chickaroo. We had no idea when we bought our place that we had a flower bush in the springtime. Oh, it's so nice. We technically have this one over here too, but it's like me, you know, a late bloomer. Selfie with the flowers. This bush is amazing. <laughs> it's a great bush. I can't even believe it. We've been laying outside like almost every day in April. I don't even need a vacation when I got just a laying chair and some sunshine, I'm set. And our beautiful flowers. So we're making dinner, or by we, I mean, let's be real, Bryce. Um, so he's making us some beef and shrimp. This is bacon grease.
The strategy is one by one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, dinner and a show. That'd be crazy. Bryce knows the drill. He's gotta make the plate nice and cutesy patootsy. So Bryce wanted olive oil with his shrimp, and I wanted ghee with mine. I'm ready. Shrimp and ghee go together like steak and eggs. You did a good job, honey. 10 out of 10. Just melts in the mouth. Bliss. So we are taking our evening walk around a beautiful park. <laughs> oh yeah, he's starting over again. There we go. Act casual. Act normal. You're doing it. Mm. Yep. He's walking. He's doing it. For dessert, we have yogurt and dark cherries. Then we stand and eat dessert because, I don't know, we just kind of started doing it and now we stand for breakfast and dessert. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and we'll see you in the next one.